Hello and welcome to this demo about backup and recovery of SAP HANA using NetApp Snapshot technology. This is part one, backup. There are different options to backup an SAP HANA database. Two of these options are using a streaming approach. The backup stream can either be written directly to a backup dump location on an external storage system or it can be sent to a backup server using the SAP HANA backend interface. Common challenges with these backup options are typically long backup operations, some performance impact on the productive databases during the backup operation, and slow restore and recovery operations. However, SAP HANA offers a third option to handle backups, storage snapshots. With storage snapshots, backup and recovery operations are typically very fast without impact on the productive database. In addition, snapshot-based backups can be used to efficiently create SAP HANA system copies and refreshes decoupled from the productive environment. NetApp is currently the only certified SAP HANA storage vendor that offers this integrated snapshot backup functionality. In this demo, we show you how NetApp snapshot-based backups can be used with SAP HANA. We start to log on to the SAP HANA database using the HANA Studio to give an overview of the running database. The backup catalog shows all available backups that have been performed already. In the destination column, we see the backup type snapshot, which identifies backups using storage snapshots. In the details section of a selected backup, the external backup ID column shows the snapshot name on the storage system. We now switch to the NetApp Snap Creator framework. We have developed a SAP HANA plugin for SnapCreator that manages consistent backup and restore operations using our snapshot technology. The configuration of a HANA database in SnapCreator contains all relevant information needed to perform backup and restore operations. This includes details about the storage volumes, the backup retention policies, and the snapshot replication configuration. To create consistent backups, SnapCreator must be able to communicate with the HANA database. This is done via the SnapCreator agent triggering HDB SQL commands. We are now starting a new backup operation using the hourly retention policy. The console log window displays detailed log information about the backup run. The backup workflow has three main steps. First, a HANA global save point is created in the database to ensure the database files are in a consistent state. Then SnapCreator creates storage snapshots for all data volumes that belong to the HANA database. This operation is very fast and completely independent of the size of the database. After that, SnapCreator updates the HANA backup catalog to make the backup available in HANA Studio. Optionally, the snapshot can then be replicated to a secondary storage system using the NetApp Snap Vault or Snap Mirror functionality. As a final step, SnapCreator performs some housekeeping operations on existing backups based on the defined retention policies. Now let's switch back to the HANA Studio for a second to verify that the backup was successfully done and is now listed in the HANA Backup Catalog. This was a short introduction how to create snapshot-based backups for SAP HANA something that is uniquely offered by NetApp. Look for part two of this demo to see how these backups can easily be restored and recovered. Thank you.